Okay. You ready? Ready. Ready. Next one. Yeah, we'll let them get in that one. Holy crap. Priest, <laughs> like you had one job for this wedding. <laughs> to get cigars that fit in the cup, and I went and bought cigars. And they're way too big. She's like, she was so mad. Takes a villain. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, baby. That's beautiful. Thank you. I've been crying all morning, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, it's you look not. Good. Oh, you have a mic, I forgot. I wish so, I didn't read your letter until after the letter. Do it before. Do I? That's what I was hoping. I should have afterwards. I should. All right. Love you, honey. Love you. Love you so much. Love you. When they first asked me to do this, I went through a range of emotions. At first, I was stunned, and then excited, and then I panicked. And as I started to panic, I looked at Thomas and Bree and said, what am I going to do? What am I going to say to everyone? And my much younger, but obviously much wiser brother-in-law, Thomas, said, it doesn't matter. Just keep it short and nobody's going to care. <laughs> Come on. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Someone once told me that no matter what happens in life, just remember that love is all that matters. Today is a celebration. It's a celebration of friendship, of family, of commitment, and of love. Not just today, but throughout their relationship. They've brought separate groups of friends together, they bring their families together, and they bring those family and friends together as one. And out of all the family and friends and the people they have brought together throughout their lives, they have specifically chosen each and every one of you to be here today to celebrate the most important step yet in their journey as a couple. I love you so much, it's hard to put into words or on paper. You're my best friend, and I'm so excited to share the rest of my life with you. I love you and always will, more than you'll ever know. You're what was missing from my life, and you make me complete. I love you. I can't scream because my voice is <laughs> Thomas, these eight years have been filled with so much happiness. I can't believe this day is finally here. This day is everything I could have dreamt about and more, all because of you. I am so thankful for Carrie's house parties that brought us here. We have grown up together these years, from graduating college, our first adult jobs, our first home, parents to our three kitties, and now the best day of our lives. You are my other half and my true best friend. Together we have and will continue to create a life of love, laughter, and adventures. I love you so much. Everybody loves Thomas and Bray. Their friends love them, their families love them, they're loved as individuals, and they're loved as a couple. And when two people like that find each other in the world, it's truly an amazing thing. So without further ado, let's get them married. Do you, Thomas McKenzie, take this woman to be your wedded wife? <laughs> I do. Get a little thing going on. Do you, Bree Rogers, take this man to be your wedded husband? I do. <laughs> there you go. All right. And with that, Thomas and Bree, by the power of your love and commitment, and the power vested in me by the state of Vermont, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Leave my 
Send my keys by the door All these fortunate fates I don't think they need us no more I've learned to respect, uh, know and respect Thomas over the last few years. Um, I think he's going to be a great husband and a great dad. I really do. Uh, very compassionate person. Okay. I, I remember him asking me, calling me out one day for beers, saying, let's go for beers. And I didn't even, I don't know why I didn't think about it. I we're just going out for beers. But he's like, you know, he, he asked me permission. And then, uh, then a year goes by. And I don't hear him. So I'm like, so he calls me again. And I'm like, uh-oh, what's this call for? Is it worse? What's going to happen? You know, and he's like, all right, so now you've known me better for a year. We've gone away a bunch and all that. And he says, do you still give your permission? So I thought that was pretty amazing. So again, good man. Good man. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Don't these two look absolutely stunning tonight? Woo! Am I right? Am I right? Yeah. All right, quiet down, quiet down. Throughout high school, Thomas was my chauffeur. He drew me to school every day. Although I can't go into details of various things we crashed into or did. Rocks, snow banks, definitely not mailboxes, because that's a federal crime, but. <clears throat> a wise man once told me, when you're asked to give a speech like this, just get in and get out. And so, on that note, Boy, well, you guys all raise your glasses for a toast. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let it be known that Thomas, from now on, will never be right, ever. And a happy wife makes for a happy life. All right, enough with the stories because we all know we need a tearjerker up in here. Sis, how do I begin to capture all the love and memories that we've shared? From the time we were little until now, you've always been there. From late night giggles, telling stories and laughing until we cried, you've always been my secret keeper and my safe haven. You've been my best friend to stand by my side you are the first person who will cry with me and listen to me like no one else. You are so compassionate, caring, and will always offer your help to others. Thank you for always being my person and for always staying true to who you are. Without you, this life would have felt impossible at times. I treasure you more than my words could ever convey. Thank you for choosing me to stand by your side on one of the most important days of your life. To you, Brie, darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. And during our darkest moments is when we must focus to see the light. So therefore, you see all my light and love all my dark. I love you, Brianna, and I am so endlessly happy for you. So much of the best, we're getting married. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>